Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. It's building time today. Today we're going to build Mia's horse trailer. And I mean, it's called Mia's horse trailer, but it's got more than just Mia and a horse trailer in it. I think, well, the pictures on the box say that it does. So let's open it. Let's find out what we got inside here. Oh, look, it's got Emma as well. So we got two mini dolls in this set and obviously a horse to go with the horse trailer. We got two bags, got our instructions. They're important and some stickers. Okay, let's see. So we've got Mia, obviously, because it is her horse trailer and I'm assuming it's her horse. She's wearing long pants and boots, which is good for riding. And she's got her new colored hair. So Mia with her bright, bright red hair. But the set also includes, let's take this hair off, her helmet. So her riding helmet, safety, safety first, very important. So now she's dressed for casual riding in the forest and she's got a brush. <laughs> and she's got some sunglasses, which we can't, they're not actually supposed to go on with her helmet. So her sunglasses are supposed to go on her normal hair. So for when she doesn't need a helmet. Now, let's see what horse we've got. There's, I don't know the name of this horse. This isn't, Mia seems to have a lot of horses and this brush is what they normally use for the girl's hair. But now we're using it for grooming the horses too. This is a pure white horse must be <laughs> this one must be Mia's current favorite horse beautifully groomed and if we take this centerpiece out if I can get this centerpiece out so there we go all right if I take this out there's also a horse blanket isn't that nice so once the horse has been completely groomed she can snuggle it up for the night and it's got a bridle as well which we're putting on with the horse blanket which is interesting but i normally shh, use my teeth to get this bit over <laughs> over the horse's ears but you can use a brick separator to do that too it just takes a bit of effort it's better to use the brick separator than your teeth because your teeth are expensive to replace you need them blah 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 so use the brick separator we've also got a crate and there's hay in it for the horse and a carrot that's nice so we've got some got some supplies there for the horsey and we've got some grooming equipment as well. Oh, and in the second bag, I've actually stolen Emma out of the second bag. Check out her cool purple boots. That's new and she's looking, well, she's looking as though she did not want to compromise fashion for sensible forest wear and horse riding, but <laughs> hopefully she's okay with getting these clothes dirty. And she, well, she's not supposed to be wearing the sunglasses, but there's an extra pair, so we'll put them on her. And there's a little bunny. There's a little teeny baby bunny. Oh, oh, I wonder if this is one of the ones that belongs to Mia. She's got a lot of pets. So we can, oh no, don't feed the bunny to the horse. We can groom the bunny. <laughs> the brush can be used for grooming everybody. Horses, girls, bunnies. Okay, let's move everybody out of the way a bit. And then we can start putting together the, the trailer, the horse trailer. And let's see what we need to put in on the underside to hold all of these white plate pieces together. Oh, there's some pink studs under there. I wonder what what purpose they serve. Maybe little lights just underneath the trailer. And we've got a nice purple rim around the exterior and a smooth piece here. So that might be the door, but really at the moment I'm just guessing. So let's just keep building. We'll build up whatever's gonna go. Actually, you're not gonna be putting an awful lot of things inside a horse trailer because you've got to be able to fit the horse in there. So let's see what is actually going in here. A couple of big poles. And the rounding over is beginning already for the outside. Oh, so the saddle can be stored in the horse trailer. We'll put that on the horsey later. And there's a big arch over here to support. Well, that's going to be able to support all the rest of the trailery stuff. And there's some hooks on the top. So our big rounded green pieces are going to be, they're nice and big and they, they're very quick and easy to make the sides of the trailer up and a nice big sticker so we know that this one belongs to Mia and these ones on the top are going to hold everything together smooth them over a little bit okay so we've got a big empty side here there's a nice smooth spot there where the horse can fit perfectly in fact that is really snug and of course we can store the saddle in here too but we still have got some more doors to go on so this one's got it's a big glass door a big blue one It'd be nice if it was see-through well it is see-through it would be nice if it was translucent like transparent with no color on it 
But this will do, this is nice. And so that opens up completely so you can easily get the horse out. But this is going to be the actual back part of the trailer with all of the stickers. <laughs> I heart HLC. There's lots of cool stickers on there. And then this clips on here. And oh, that's our opening, the back opening for the horse trailer. That's really such a cool design. And the horse does not fall out. In fact, the horse is very snug, even though we've just tipped this upside down to put our wheels on. <laughs> Horsey's a gay. She's a gay. I'm assuming she's a she. I'm just making things up about this horse because I know nothing about her. She's white. She's pretty. She's in the horse trailer. And the horse trailer is done. Uh, except now we need something to actually carry the horse trailer. Uh, oh, that's cool. So that just means it stands up right. So it doesn't slant down at the front. We're up to bag number two. Let's get this horse. Actually, let's see whether the horse fits the other. No, it doesn't fit the other way. So there's one direction this horse can go in. There we are. And she can look out, which is nice. There's a nice big window there. Now, this is the bag that Emma actually comes in. So Emma doesn't. Well, she's not technically supposed to have sunglasses, though she can wear them because there's a spare pair. She has got a bow in the instructions. So a nice big bow for Emma <laughs> to go with all the rest of her fashion forward outfit. <laughs> what happens if she rips that? Is she going to... Well, you need to have some pretty heavy duty clothes to go out doing some horse riding in the forest. I don't think she minds. She'd probably mend them herself. We seem to have a really cute little habitat for the baby bunny. So this is not Mia's bunny, I don't think. I think this is a little wild bunny. Some wildlife that they stumble across in the forest to make friends with. And this is cute when the bunny gets <laughs> when the bunny gets bored, it can spin its greenery <laughs> round and round and round. <laughs> That's really cute. That's such a cute little habitat, just a tiny little habitat for the bunny. But now we need something to actually pull the, the, the trailer, the horse trailer, because we can't use the horse to pull the horse trailer because that kind of defeats the purpose of it being a horse trailer. So we need a quite heavy duty vehicle or, you know, a car. <laughs> and I'm going to assume it's going to be an off-roader, like a four-wheel drive. We'll, we'll just see. So at the moment we've got, there's enough room there for two people to sit in the front. There's no actual room in the back where there's no seating area in the back. And there's not, doesn't seem to be a whole load of room for their arms either. Their arms <laughs> seem to be getting higher and higher the more bricks we add on there. Soon they're going to be driving along with like their outside arm just sticking over their head. <laughs> uh, and on the back we've got a few little tail lights, speaking of putting hands up over their head. So that's the space that they've got left for their hands in that little V there. <laughs> that looks uncomfortable. <laughs> it looks like they're just kind of waving all the time. On the front, of course, we're going to need some headlights. And do we get a number plate? I don't think we get a number plate. So this is, that's the little sticker that goes on the bonnet. And now we get, oh yeah, we get a bull bar on the front. Nice, now I think we just need some wheels. Ooh, these are nice. These are some heavy duty wheels. This is going to make this car really quite tall. Whoa, look at that. We just doubled the height of the car by putting the wheels on. All right, nice. And we've got a space in the back to put all of the supplies, the horse's supplies. And of course, we're gonna need a windscreen to keep the bugs out of your mouth while you're driving. Because <laughs> nobody likes bugs in their mouth when they're driving. Or at any time, to be totally honest. Some nice big lights on the front up there too for nighttime driving to make sure we don't run into any wildlife. And then we can attach over here, we can attach the horse trailer. And it looks like they're ready to go off for an adventure. Well, they're gone already. Oh no, hold on, they're going, they're just trying it out. They're seeing, <laughs> seeing it really works really nicely. And when they get wherever they want to go, they can open it all up and the horse can come out. We can put the saddle on and let's, uh, let's send Let's send Mia out riding. She needs to have her helmet because safety first. And she's ready. She's off. She's just left Emma in that car. We can pack this all up again. And Emma can... Well, Emma could... No. No, you don't take the bunny's habitat with you. Right. Okay, so Emma has driven off with the bunny. Ah, Mia's still riding around. Oh, my goodness. And the bunny's chasing Mia. Obviously, the bunny did not feel very safe in 
uh, uh, traveling habitat on the back of the car. Well, this is a really cute set, but do you know, there actually is a horse trailer, actually I think it was called Emma's horse trailer from a few years ago, and I still have that and I haven't built it yet. So would you be interested in seeing me build that? We can compare the two and see how, what they're like, like side by side. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that and I'll be happy to build it. And in the meantime, make sure you subscribe, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I will be back with a new one very, very soon. So I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye.